Hey everyone, it's Christian here, Employment Specialist for the Access to Customized Employment Program at Jane Nolan Community Services. I'm here covering the Small Business Week event at Pasadena City College. And I'm here to, to really to check out and, uh, some of the workshops and maybe get some good resources, uh, talk to some of the, to the experts in the, in the field, and uh, maybe we'll get some good insight. Ready to check it out? Let's go. Tell us a little bit about Instagram and how it's useful for business. Yes, if you are uh, using social media and you're wondering what the buzz is about Instagram, it's all about visual pleasing content, telling a story surrounded with your products so that people will want to purchase. Not promo, but product stories. I imagine a lot of people get confused about, yes. oh, this is a great way to promote my product. Right, and that's at the forefront, and so you asked me what was one of the mistakes, and that is having every single post on Instagram be promotional. Um, only 20% of your content should be promotional, and the others should be telling stories, doing behind yeah. the scenes, um, giving tips, and then giving a call to action like, hey, if you want more help, then contact me here. Okay. But the photo itself doesn't have to be a promo photo. Gotcha. So it's like building the, the uh, showing the lifestyle of your Yes. Friends. What your business can do to help people. Awesome. Sounds Okay, we're here with Mark, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how to market locally with Twitter. Hi, I'm Mark McLeod from Moving Aspirations, and I help small businesses with their social media marketing, including their Twitter marketing. I am at the Pasadena Mega Mixer, and here's one thing that you need to appreciate about Twitter. It's not about you. It's about your fans. It's about your market. Connect with them, engage with them, entice them, intrigue them, motivate them. If you just say, buy my product, buy my product, that will not work. Love your fans first and then you can benefit from your market. Thanks for listening. You can learn how to write a good business plan, you can have the best uh, social media marketing, but the truth is, guys, if you don't have food in your stomachs, you're just gonna be a little grumpy, so let's go have some lunch. Okay guys, here we're uh, breaking for lunch, and I ran into Kim, she was showing me her really cool product, and I thought you guys might wanna check it out. So, Click and Carry is a simple handle device that allows shoppers to manage and carry multiple bags at once comfortably. And you can either carry your groceries in your hands, or better, you can wear them over your shoulders and your hands free. And the interesting thing, Christian, is it's not just used for bags, it's used for paint cans, as a ski tote, for multiple dogs, you can walk multiple dogs at once, leashes, and dry clean. So, who knows? Definitely multi-use. <laughs> multi-use. Um, the event is actually awesome. So, it's, it's kind of, I feel like it's an adult school, basically, <laughs> right? You come in, you pick a chance, choose classes that you want. There's like, there was a free breakfast at luncheon, which was cool. I was like, man, if school was like this, I would have totally done this a long time ago. So, um, I went to three, two classes. I did a Pinterest class and as well as Instagram. So, there's things that I did have known, but there's always a small simple tweaks that you can apply um, that I felt the most gratifying or most cool. Sounds good. Thank you so much for talking to me. All right. yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Basically, Constant Contact provides online tools to help small businesses stay in contact with their current customers and your current customers are your best way to find your next best customer yeah, through definitely. referrals. Definitely. Um, you might send them out monthly and the difference between sending an email using Constant Contact and maybe sending an email using Gmail or Outlook or one of those services is that you get the reporting after you send. You can see who opened it, at what time, what they clicked on. We love small business. We know they're backbone of the country and we want them to succeed. So it's our honor and privilege to have small businesses with us today. So thank you. Thank you. Well, Hot Dogs, we um, provide creative and market, creative marketing services for other small businesses and nonprofits. We help them strategize about their social media presence. Sometimes we even manage it for them. We still do traditional graphic design and we still do um, uh, annual reports and those type of things. But we're really getting into the mode of helping people understand how to build effective campaigns online for people that really produce results. Yeah. Because a lot of people are throwing a lot of content on there and they're not getting the return that they're hoping for. So when you're a little more strategic, 
you look at an editorial calendar and you figure out what it is you're trying to do, that's what makes it work. Sounds good. Okay, we're here with Mike for the Long Beach Gay and Lesbian, Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so, Mike, tell us a little bit about what you guys do there. Well, the Long Beach Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce has been around uh, for over 15 years. And our focus is on building and developing gay-owned and gay-friendly businesses, uh, make sure that the businesses are out there thriving, and also to ensure that the new people that are coming in have access to resources that may not be available to them uh, or they may not be aware of that. One of our focuses right now with the Long Beach Chamber is our uh, alliance with the National Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, where we're certifying businesses uh, as gay-owned the 51% or more so that they have the opportunity to bid for contracts or services to major corporations and you know, state and federal agencies that are required to spend some of their money in a minority community. So if anybody's interested, like, I want to start my own business, I don't know where to start, come If to you go to scorela.org, and you'll find on our website a list of mentors, and you would select the mentor that best suits your uh, business needs. Oh, and sense. also our workshops are listed on there in order for you to take a class. If you're looking to start your own business, if you're looking to increase your social media presence, check out some of these, check out hot dogs, you know, check out uh, Natalie Goucher, really, really great uh, people and provide some pretty awesome services. And check in when they're in, in your city. They might be giving some free workshops through the SBDC or something like that. So um, it's really, really great. Uh, really great people doing really interesting things. And that's what it's all about, is bringing people together that have similar interests and and finding out ways that they can connect. So feel free to check us out um, at Jane Nolan Community Services uh, Facebook page and also at jnolan.org. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye.